Let's get the most out of our photo edit by learning how to easily adjust the highlights and shadows in our image. Hi, I'm Jamie from Envato Test Plus, and in this tutorial, we're gonna see just how effective the highlights and shadows adjustments can be in Lightroom Classic. Making full use of these sliders can really help refine the details of your next photo edit. Are you in need of templates, stock images, or other creative digital assets? Envato Elements opens up a world of creative possibilities for all of your projects. With unlimited downloads and a single license that gives you broad commercial rights, this is a resource you won't want to live without. Check out the link in the description for more information about Envato Elements. Let's start with a raw image in Adobe Lightroom Classic. And click over to the Develop module. We'll find the highlights and shadows adjustments on the right hand side near the top of the Basics panel. Highlights adjust the bright areas of your image that aren't true white. Moving the slider to the left brings back detail in the brightest areas of the image, and moving the slider to the right brightens the brightest areas, but protects you from blowing out the details in the highlights. Shadows adjust the dark areas that are not true black. Moving the slider to the left brings them closer to pure black for a darker image, and moving the slider to the right opens up the dark information to bring out more details. A really handy trick is to press and hold the Alt or Option key while moving the sliders to visually see if there is any clipping happening in either of the highlights or the shadows. Even though we're not adjusting the whites or black sliders, if we make extreme adjustments to our highlights and or shadows, they'll start to affect the whites or blacks. Let's see how the highlights and shadows adjustments affect a portrait. Notice how at the more extreme slider movements, these two adjustments have a major impact on the look and feel of our image. Use your own vision to guide you as to the appropriate amount of each slider. And now with the full image edited, I can really refine the details with using the highlight or the shadows. I hope this has helped you better understand how to use highlights and shadows. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more Lightroom tutorials.